All right, so in the previous video, we talked about univariate LSTM simulations and predictions. The question that you're going to ask me is that what if we don't want to use the soil temperature values to predict soil temperature? What if we want to use two other variables? Let's say in this case, average temperature and solar radiation to predict our soil temperature. And this is exactly what I want to talk about in a very simple example. So I have two sequences. One is the average temperature and the other one is total uh, solar radiation based on the data frame that I have showed you before. And based on these two, I have converted them into NumPy arrays. And based on these two, I would like to simulate and predict um, the data frame that gives me uh, soil temperature at 50 degrees, as 50 centimeters. All right, so first of all, let's run this. And this will uh, convert the data frame into a NumPy array. Next, we are going to, again, define that um, split, split sequences um, function what it did, it will convert the format of the NumPy array into a format that our LSTM libraries can read. All right, so I'm going to run this. This should be familiar to you. The only part that is different from the univariate is this part. And then, perfect. Uh, we are going to reshape the sequences in one, in two, and the out sequence. We are going to reshape them in a way that LSTM can read and then horizontally stack them using the NumPy method of H stack. This is an interesting method as well. And this time, instead of using the steps of seven, so reading the last seven steps, you're gonna read the last three steps, okay? Perfect. Um, so I'm gonna run this. Now let me show you how it's gonna look like X and Y values, I'm gonna, print x and y values obviously i'm not going to print all of them i'm going to print the first five so when i run this you will see that the x values are you have this number three uh, 3.14 7.68 and 7.16 these are the three from air temperature and the three for um total solar radiations are uh, 0 0.38 0 0.32 and 0.1 eight okay and the y value is 8.56 this is the training data set let me actually now that we are looking at it let me print the first uh three rows of our data frame to show you okay so um let's take a look at the average air temperature that we there we go this is average temperature air temperature right over here so take a look at the first three values 3.14 7.68 and 7.16 exactly this number this number and this number and now take a look at the total solar radiation uh, 0 0.38 0 0.32 0 0.18 exactly this one this one and this one and what we want to um what we want to predict is 8.56, which is this number right over here. Okay, so essentially we are telling LSTM that read the average air temperature, the three number of average air temperature, and read the three number from total solar radiation and give me the value for um, soil temperature at the depth of 50 centimeter. This is what this is. Okay, and also I can go move forward if I print six, seven, you can continue this and take a look at that. Okay, now that we have this, we need to define our model. We have already imported all of the libraries that we wanna use um, in the previous example over here, so I'm not gonna import all the libraries, but I'm gonna write down the model definition. Uh, we are using the sequential and the LSTM. Again, I'm gonna use the 50 in the head and layer file activation and everything else is gonna be the same. I'm going to use the same optimizer and the same loss method. Um, keep the number of epoch low, 20. And once you have this, let me run the cell as well. Once you have this, then you need to just demonstrate your prediction, show the prediction. And the code for that is exactly the same thing. The only difference would be take a look at how I have arranged my input data. My input data is arranged exactly based on 
what I have over here. So again, this number, this number, and this number, they represent average air temperature. And the second component over here, this and this, these represent so total solar radiation. This would be the input that I am giving to LSDM, and I'll ask LSDM to tell me what would be the soil temperature uh, corresponding to these numbers. Uh, if you pay, pay attention, you will see that the numbers that I have over here are exactly the numbers that the model has been trained based off. So I'm, I want to check if the value of soil temperature is close to this value, that means that my model has been trained properly, right? If it's far from this value, it means that I probably need to increase the number of steps from three to a larger number, or I can uh, increase the number of epochs and see what happens. Let's actually print this and see what happens. So right now the number is 7.53, which is far from one degrees, about one degrees from this number over here.